All right, this is Pixel Junk Monsters 2. Uh, I only played a little bit of the original Pixel Junk uh, Monsters, but I've loved a ton of Pixel Junk games, and so I thought I would give this a give this a try. Uh, it's what it was. The original Pixel Junk Monsters was actually one of the first big successful um, uh, tower defense games. And so this is sort of the overworld map or whatever. This is like where you pick which levels you want to play. And I'm trying to remember. See, have I played? Okay, so I haven't played this one yet, I don't think. Let's check it out. Play it at fun difficulty. Like, the, their lowest difficulty level is fun. And then it just gets worse from there. Monsters always attack in groups. It's just like a wave. The number of waves depend on the stage. So... Yeah, so this is, uh, it's interesting, because it's, it's, it was one of the original, you know, like I said, successful uh, tower defense games, um, and so it feels almost like a, like a return to a, a classic version of this, because I've played so many tower defense style games that have showed up after Pixel Junk Monsters, and so it feels interesting to kind of go, to return to kind of the, the original type of experience. So they give you a preview here of the path that the monsters are going to be taking. So they're going to follow this path down here but this is a lie <laughs> because usually what makes a stage difficult is that like the first few groups will follow this path and then everybody else will violate it <laughs> and so i don't even know like the fact that we're spending so much time watching this particular path get drawn out just almost feels feels like i'm being conned because because <laughs> this is just you know not going to happen this way but whatever so we know most of the monsters are going to come that direction so this little tiki guy right here and I can jump boing and so what I want to do is set up towers to shoot whatever is coming my way oh looks like we got spiders and helicoptery guys well if we've got helicoptery guys then we want we want towers that can shoot both ground and air so let's make a little corridor here that's hard to hard to get past in one piece. Ah, uh, well, okay, I'm kind of too late now to be affecting these guys, so let's... And then just in case those spiders are a little much, let's uh, put a ground cannon right here. So you can watch as my little bows and arrows take these guys out. Okay, so the problem with spiders is they're actually a little bit too fast those cannons to be effective against them and so it looks like this spider is going to kill me because I can't build a tower in time well that's just depressing oh he murdered one of my dudes oh or did he no we got him at just the last second holy crap that was amazing okay so of course the next set of monsters are coming from another direction right you can see the little indicator in the lower right saying they're coming from a different way so oh wow we are just completely full of helicopters now Cool. Well, let's get some anti-air and some... Oh, I don't have enough coins. Well, this is going to go really badly. So I needed to be more prepared for those guys. So this game, you've got to keep track of a lot of stuff. Because not only do you have to be building the right towers to be dealing with these enemies, you also have to be running around and collecting the gold that they drop while avoiding being actually damaged by them. And if you neglect anything, it can screw you over. And one of the more interesting decisions you have to make in this game is whether to build ground-based, like ground-focused, air-focused, or everything-focused defenses. The ground-focused defenses and the air-focused defenses tend to be more powerful, but they'll ignore half the enemies uh, that come up the come up the path. They're not half of them. Most enemies are ground, but there are enough air-based enemies that you're in big trouble if you're not prepared for them. So I'd love to watch them defeat my guys. See, it just looks like they took out one of my little dudes. I got oh, 18, 17. Okay, this went really badly. So let's back up and see if we can do a better job. In a lot of cases, I would just play through the entire mission just to see what everything is and then restart later on. Uh, but I kind of wanted to sort of immediately show you, like, what a difference it makes, how, how you build things. So, one stupid decision that I was making was I was building towers that only affected one of the incoming paths. Uh, so, you know, we've got this path coming from the left, 
But, you know, as, as the path sort of traces here, you can see that there's this T-junction that it comes to, and there's another path coming from the right, and that's where the helicopters came from. And so any tower that I built that was only going to hit the left side was kind of a waste. Like, I shouldn't build any towers there until I've already covered this entire central corridor, because that's where my towers can be more efficiently used. So let's skip this and try again. Okay, so in my wave preview um, at the top of the screen, I can see that we got spiders on the way, and they're going to be followed up by those other dudes. Now, I don't want to waste... Uh, I don't want to waste money on the cannons, because the spiders... The, the cannons are not very effective at this, on the spiders. They're really effective against certain other enemies, but the spiders move so quickly, that, and the cannons take so long to fire, that, it's, um, that it, just, it just can't ever be very effective. It's like, you, the, the cannons are area effect, and so if you've got a bunch of slow-moving enemies that are tightly packed, the cannons are amazing at taking them out. But if you get the spiders going by, and the cannon fires at the spider, the spider will be, you know, almost completely out of the area effect before the cannon even has a chance to hit. Okay, so we're going to build four of these towers, and hopefully that will be enough to take out these spiders before they get close. You see, now that I've actually... I didn't spend money on... The, the cannons are more expensive than the uh, than these crossbows. And so because I didn't waste money building a cannon, I was able to build four towers. And then I built, built four better towers for, uh, for fighting the spiders. And now we've got the helicopters on the way, right? Yeah, they're coming down this way. So let's still keep relying on these guys. Because we, you know, we're never quite sure what's going to come next. So, like, you see, we've got... Actually, this might be a good place to put a cannon. So I think I'll leave that one alone. Actually, you know what? This is a better place to put a cannon. Cannons have short ranges, so you want to put them very close to the edge. Okay, so hopefully these crossbows will take down these helicopters quickly enough. Because there's so many of them now. Oh. Coins will roll down slopes, too, by the way, which is just infuriating, trying to chase a coin. Oh my gosh, come back. You come back. Okay, it looks like we're doing all right. One guy made it through the initial gauntlet, but I've got... I've got a final one ready to hit him. Oh, look, I've got... I got a fruit. I forgot what fruits do. So let's get this coin. Okay, so I've got I got a team of those uh, little. I think these guys they're very small and they tend to be closely packed. Yeah, so these are the guys that you want to use cannons against. But see, the best place for me to put a cannon is right here, I think, because it's very close to the road. It's short range. But by the time it gets there, these guys really won't be in a crowd. So I might be wasting that effort there. Whoa. Oh, they hit that... Hit that fruit, I guess? I don't know what destroyed them. I ha I did find that fruit. I haven't quite figured out how fruits work yet. So I, hit, I, I left a fruit in the middle of the... Uh, of the path. And apparently that did something. Okay, so which way are... The, okay, so the helicopters are coming from this direction... Right, so helicopters seem to like to pass through here, so I'm going to put an anti-air thing right there, which should clear out some of these dudes. Though I don't know really what the value of the anti-air is, because it seems like it actually doesn't... Maybe it fires slightly more often than the crossbows, or whatever these are called, ballistas or something. Like... The main, the main advantage of the anti-air, I think, is that it's got a long range. Because sometimes the flying guys will ignore the path altogether. Sometimes they'll just take a really weird path. And and and, and so the anti-air has a wide enough range that sometimes they'll be able to deal with stuff that other stuff won't. And now uh, I have failed because I didn't spend my money 
to get ready for these guys, and they're gonna take out one of my. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh, we just barely were too late. If I had built this thing earlier, we would have been fine. So whatever. Let's let's get all the way through this mission. Getting through a, a perfect run, like not letting any damage at all get to your base, is how you kind of unlock later later content. So let's let's put a cannon here. Or maybe even a, a Tesla? Wait, that's ice. Oh, we can't afford a Tesla yet. Let's build a cannon. Oh, we've got a new enemy coming up here that I haven't seen before. I don't know what the this bumblebee looking dude is. I don't even know. Does he fly? Maybe. We're probably going to see me fail at this, because I don't even know what I'm doing with a lot of this stuff. So one thing I do really appreciate about some other tower defense games, like, say, Defense Grid, is the fact that they, you know, you have much more of kind of a top-down, see-the-entire-board-at-once perspective, and they, they really put a lot of work into trying to give you as much information up front as, you can, as they can, like... You know, they, they show you all of the paths that the enemies could take, rather than just showing you one and then letting the enemies sort of surprise you. Yeah, that is a big, fat bumblebee. That is adorable. Um, and so the, the fact that you basically have to play through um, the mission before you really even understand what's happening is kind of a downside for me, but... What even is this? All right, whatever. Let's build that. So I do. Th I think that the anti-air also fires a little bit more frequently than the crossbows, and so it might it might be valuable on on those grounds. I wonder if I put something here, it would kind of barely reach around the entire. So trying to get the radius of a um, of a tower to touch as much of the path as possible is part of like the geometric challenge. Though, um, because you can only plant towers where trees are, it feels kind of limiting. It's like, like I feel like, you know, I might be able to, like, oh, perfectly place this tower in exactly the right spot where it hits all the right parts of the path. And it feels like a little bit of a missed opportunity for me as a player to not be able to have that kind of control. But I can also see why they wouldn't want to do that. Like, wouldn't necessarily want to set the game up so that it comes down to a tiny, like, you know, a pixel's breadth of uh, placement precision. Okay, yeah, so I have totally failed here. Uh, these guys are not taking enough damage from me, and they're gonna take out a couple more of my dudes. So yeah, two guys. Oh man, and the coins are just going everywhere! Alright, what's coming next? I actually wasn't paying attention. I don't know that, that what that indicator is pointing at. Oh, something in the sky, apparently. Okay, more of the... Oh, it's just a million zillion helicopters. Okay. Well. Let's do something about that. I don't know what. I thought I could find a spot here. Oh, here's a spot right here. Let's build another one of these. And collect as much of this as I can. By the way, note that the vast majority of the enemies have come down the path that was not marked at the beginning. Like, that initial path that they marked was the, it was the first play, way that enemies came, but it has almost nothing to do with most of what's going on in this game. By the way, notice that... Um, as they shoot enemies, these towers are leveling up. Um, that, that increases... For some towers, it increases their range. For all towers, I think it increases their damage. Um, and if I just hang out... I forgot about this. If I just hang out by a tower, I can slowly level it up over time uh, and, and make it more powerful. I can also spend gems to upgrade it, uh, which are you know kind of a rarely dropped currency. 
So that's a thing that, I, that's an opportunity that I've been missing. Um, I could make these guys more powerful. What is this? A smoky fruit. I don't know what that does. I guess we'll just leave that in the path over here. Oh, by the way, another thing you can do is you can run around in an over-the-shoulder perspective. Which, I'm not sure what the purpose of it is, except to just be able to admire their beautiful art. Because this art is beautiful. I mean, this is this feels very much like Tomorrow Children, uh, which is made by the same studio. Um, it's got sort of that stop-motion claymation vibe to it. So I don't even know what I just looked at there. Okay, so these guys are taking a ton of damage. So if I bump into them, they'll knock me down. They can't hurt my guy, really. But they can knock him down for a bit and make it difficult for me to go around doing my job. Okay, so I really, really should have had more of this going on. Um, oh, let's, let's get a Tesla. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so our... Our cannon is helping at the end here, which is good. The Tesla's taking too long. I don't know. Are we going to make it? Nope. 16 out of 20 left. I am a terrible leader. Tesla's are really good against, um, like, crowds of tougher enemies. They hit a lot of enemies, and they also do a lot of damage. So they might, they're actually... Against crowds of spiders, for instance. They might actually be pretty good. But they're expensive. I don't think... If I put something here, is it going to reach far enough? Eh, maybe. Let's try it. There's so much currency being dropped for me. Look at all this currency. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now we got more of these little flying dudes. Let's, um, oh, wait. More of those bumblebees are coming later, but what's coming right now? Hello? Oh, big rock monsters. Okay. So if this is the direction that big heavy enemies are going to be coming, then maybe cannons are what we want around here. Eh, don't know if that really reaches far enough. Because, yeah, cannons are good at area effect. They're also good at damaging big tough guys. I think they're not good at hitting is little quick guys. Wait, are those guys shielded? What does that even mean? Oh, hey, some, something dropped currency. So... Trees will sometimes drop currency if you bump into them. And so it kind of behooves you to just touch every tree, which really makes you feel like you're obsessed with compulsive. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do enough damage to these guys before they get to the top here. And now I've got bees coming. Bees! That's a nice sound, though, right? Just a bunch of towers all firing on all cylinders here. Okay, I took that guy out. Whenever the bees get here, I'm going to have trouble. Oh, not what I needed. All right, yeah, this is going to be a disaster. Okay, so that Tesla tower is doing a lot of damage to these dudes. But it doesn't fire that often. So I should probably maybe have not put this cannon here, but I should have put another Tesla tower there. Because, yeah, I'm taking some damage from these guys. Okay, so. Bumblebees. Hi, bumblebees. Hmm. Lasers. I can get lasers for 300. I wonder if these guys will... It looks like this is not a very serious wave. 
Oh no, it's coming from both sides. That's why it's here. Oh, holy crap. So many dudes. Okay, well, at least one is going to get hit. I wonder how much currency he's going to drop. Oh, just barely not enough? Sheesh. So this might end up being one of those uh, one of those videos where you just get to watch me fail at something. There's often there's often a lot of waves. Some of these battles are really long. So yeah, there's no room up here for me to build another tower. So if I want to build this laser tower to deal with future guys. That sort of works. I don't know how much of that area it actually would cover. Let's build it anyway to find out. Okay, I sort of cleared a wave. I'm pretty sure they did some damage up here. Like, I kind of wrote off those last few bumblebees. Okay, we're doing barely enough damage to these guys to make a difference. Once I have enough for a... Uh, for another Tesla. I should build another one up there. Or maybe build one down here, actually. So it costs 250. Uh, it doesn't quite reach far enough. Okay, it looks like we're doing just barely enough damage. This guy, this guy probably won't make it to the top. All right. Well, let's dismantle this, which is kind of a waste. And then let's build another Tesla. Oh, wait, what? I left some money on the table? No. There it is. Sometimes you can't see the money you're trying to go after and pick up. So who's this? Oh, little guys. Oh, they're so cute. I can't really build anything, so let me, um... Oh, you know what I should do? I should level up my Teslas. There's some kind of purple robot coming in the future. Yeah, let's level up some Teslas. In fact, let's spend some coins on it. Or some gems or whatever these are. Make these super powerful. Looks like we're already killing some little dudes over here. These guys are so cute. I kind of almost feel bad killing them. I mean, almost, you know. This isn't really murder. I'm assuming that, you know, after the battle's over, that my little guys. Oh, man! I touched one. I'm assuming I'm assuming my my guys will eat these monsters corpses for sustenance, right? So it's okay. All right, here come the spiders. And then oh, yeah, that big purple monster is the very last monster. I've never seen that one before. I don't even know what to expect from it. Okay, it looks like my defenses are pretty good at handling these guys. So much money. Okay, so some kind of horrible monster's coming. Um, I don't even know. Is it coming from this direction? Sounds like it is. Maybe not. Where's the boss? Dada? Yes. Can you help me with with the TV? 
in just a minute. Let me just fight this boss. Because I was trying to turn up the volume, and then I accidentally did the thing over the volume. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can help you with the TV in just a second. Let's just fight this boss. Okay. Where is the boss? He's over here in the back. So I haven't, because this path was not used very much, I haven't really filled it out with a bunch of uh, towers. Oh, what? Did I leave a coin over here? Those coins just popped out of the tree. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And you don't notice? Yeah, it's really easy not to notice. Luckily, they put they put these little markers pointing the way towards the coins when they fall. So it could be this... Oh, man, bumblebees. Last thing I need is bumblebees. And they're not even flying near my beautiful laser over here. The way the bosses work in this game is the boss will spawn a bunch of normal enemies up out in front of him for my towers to deal with. And that kind of shields him a little bit from the towers. And it also means that my entire defense has to be on point. So I think I can handle two bees. Were you making that turn on? Hmm? Were you making that turn on? Uh, so when I'm standing near it, I'm actually leveling it up slowly. That's what that little clock is. It's leveling it up. Mm. Hey, I think you, I need you to not be nudging my chair anymore. Big purple guy with one big arm and one little arm. And oh, now he's got helicopters coming out of him. What? <laughs> Boy, both of his arms. I'm not big. doing a lot, enough damage to this guy. He's doing some. He's do. He's like a guy that's in Little Nightmares. Oh yeah, you think so? Mhm. Mm he's like that big mummy guy. Who wants to kill you. That makes sense. I mean, I guess I could put another. Uh, that's not doesn't seem necessary. Uh, more bumblebees. It says a diamond is over there. Yep, I'll get it in a second. I'm just trying to... These okay. Tesla towers are kind of my last line of defense against this guy. If I can't do hey, enough damage to him... He just went right past him. And it seems likely I won't do enough damage Wait, to him. I just noticed he's walking on... He's walking with his feet. And his his arms. I was about to say, walking with his feet is usually what people do, but you mean walking with his arms? Okay, so I've done about half his health worth of damage now, and he still isn't through most of my defenses, so maybe he's fine, especially since I got the Tesla Towers up here. Uh-oh, he's fine? Let's see what he does. So, sometimes some of the enemies will will fly. Like they'll they'll walk along, then they'll fly for a while, then they'll walk, then they'll fly. And so your ha your defenses have to be able to handle both. Oh hey there, PJ. Thanks for joining us. Okay, yeah, these Tesla towers are gonna take care of him. So, I mean, this is still kind of an embarrassing failure because I'm down to you know 11 out of 20 guys. But at least we're not gonna completely. Yeah, it's not a complete disaster. Yeah. So, I don't know what the purpose of him dropping coins is. I don't know if the coins make any difference to my progression over the long term. What? What is... What was that dirt thing? That was him, I don't know, his body dissolving into the ground or something. Maybe his body was digging. Maybe so. Wait, why did it just go block? Because I won. You won? Stage 2 is clear, yeah. So I got... A score! Yay! Wait, why does your guy look like he's wood? Uh, his, his, he's wearing a big wooden mask on his face. Wait, the mask mouth is moving! I got some ancient tokens, which I think I are mostly for unlocking cosmetic stuff. That's it. So, if I had beaten that without losing any of my guys back at the base, I would have gotten a, a rainbow token uh which and use rainbows to unlock other stages of the game so it's actually a lot like um dead ahead what whoa you can share that win uh no uh the game crashed cool awesome well that was uh pixel junk monsters 2 um and i was just saying that you know that pixel a lot like junk. yep a lot like dead ahead warfare 
uh, there's beating a level, but then you actually want to max it out in order to in order to be able to unlock Wait, all the future what? content that you want. You're Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, I've played Super Mario Odyssey on this machine. I don't think I actually have a copy of it here. Yeah, it's missing the card because you've got the card on your Switch. But anyway, there's a bunch of games here. At some point, I should probably play Steam World Dig 2 on here because uh, that game is amazing. But we'll get we'll get around to that later. For now. Let's cover up Calliope. Oh, no, I missed you. You're still there. And, um... Just put all the crap on the screen that we need. And... and put the subscribe button on the block. No, I already put it on my hand. Oh. Where my hand was. Oh, there? Mm-hmm. 